y'all. It's been a minute. To be fair, it's been a couple of minutes. I have two little dogs. They've been asleep all day. I turned this on. I don't know if you can hear, but they're back here fighting. Well, they're wrestling on the bed. You're not fighting. So yeah, where have I been? I've been around. And that's about it. <laughs> I, um, I fell into depression. Uh, I don't know what you would call it. I can't put a name on it. I didn't feel depressed, but I'm sure that's probably what it had to be. I have got, you know, have talked with a doctor and I've gotten medicine. After I read up on the medicine, it sounded too much like Lyrica, so I wouldn't take it. And so I've just not done anything. And, uh, and I was content not to do anything. And uh, I can't tell you what happened. A light, like a switch flipped. And I feel 100% better. It's, it's really weird, y'all. Um, but yeah, I've been up. I've been busy. Um, it, once you don't do these videos, it's real hard to come back to them, in my opinion. You know, um, I know I don't, I'm not complaining, but it, it's work, you know, to do the videos. You know, you have to, you know, for one, get dressed if you're me, because I hadn't gotten dressed in, I don't know how long. Like, in fact, this is, like, I went and bought um, new uh, foundation because I've worn Merle Norman Alabaster Beige literally my entire life. I got some, I think, when I was, like, 12 or 13 I don't remember how old I was. I got some then. I've used it ever, like, ever since. Well, this is as white as I've ever been. I haven't tanned. Uh, I, I would love to tan. I'm scared of skin cancer at this point, so I'm trying not to tan. Um, so, I don't tan. This is as white as my skin has ever, ever been. And I never tanned. Like, when I would go to the tanning bed, I never tanned my face. I always put a, a towel over my face. Um... And even then, I was darker than this. So, I went and got this light. This is like porcelain, I think is what this color is. And it's, I can tell, it's like too orange. It's like orangey. You know, like it, or maybe it's me. Maybe I make it, you know how makeup will oxidize and turn orange? It seems like everything is turning orange. It's probably like menopause. You know what I mean? Like, they say everything changes. So, but you know, I had a hysterectomy in like my mid-30s. So, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I kept one little ovary, though. I had uh, got rid of everything else and kept one little ovary so that I wouldn't go immediately into menopause. Although, I think I probably did because um, I was in perimenopause when I had the hysterectomy in, like, my mid-30s. And now, I'm, like, scaring the shit out of 60. But anyway, um, yeah, I haven't felt good. I haven't. I've cried for no good reason. Um uh, Boot. I don't know what it is, y'all. Ever since my surgeries, um, you know, I had a, like the infection got into my brain. And so, every ever since those surgeries, I cry at the drop of a hat. I hate that. I hate it, hate it, hate it. But that's just what I do. But I've been doing it like a lot of that. Like it's been a lot extra. And uh, I, you know, I, I just, I, I couldn't get in the mood to come here because I cry about it. I would cry about everything. And I, I was sick myself. I didn't want to, I didn't want to get on here. And every time I got on here, I was crying about something. I didn't want to do that, you know, and I, I apologize, you know, for going missing, but, um, I just couldn't make myself do it. I was in the dumps and I could not dig myself back out and I didn't want to dig myself back out. So, but like I said about, I don't know, uh, a month, I, I, time wise, I don't really, it's been, it's been a little while, like not long, but maybe a month where a light switch just flipped and I have, y'all, I've cleaned, I, I, I've been saying I was going to sort through and get rid of my clothes or like go through them and, you know, all that. And cause I'm terrible about like, if I've got older ones, I'm like, Oh, I'll keep these. I can paint and you know, all that in these. Uh, I hadn't painted nothing in so long. I mean, well, the kitchen, I think was the last thing I painted, but um, um, I lost my train of thought. Y'all, that's another problem. I cannot keep a thought rounded up in my head. Um, oh, I, going through the clothes, you know, and, and, you know, I go like this with weight, you know, so I was like, oh, I'm going to lose weight and get back in that. If I lose weight, 
I'm going to want new clothes. I'm not going to want them old clothes. So I was ruthless. Do you hear me? For about the last month, I've been ruthless. I've cleaned my utility room. I've cleaned uh, my closets. I've cleaned my little pink bedroom over there. I've cleaned my old cake shop. I've, I have cleaned, like I have been on a mission. I, I just, like I wish I had a dumpster sitting out there. I'd throw pretty much everything I own out there because I, like, I... I'm the opposite of a hoarder. I want everything gone. I want just a little, I want like just the things I need to survive. You know what I mean? I don't want a whole bunch of clutter because it makes me feel real anxious, you know, when there's a whole bunch of clutter and, and, and my house, trust me, is cluttered. So, um, yeah, I've been cleaning. Um, yeah, just busy. So, um, no, no good explanation about where I've been other than I was just in the dumps and, um, couldn't get out but I believe I'm out hopefully I'm out to stay um we've been having terrible issues with uh Abby's skin y'all I've been to the doctor with her I can't even start to tell you how many times it's been it's unbelievable spent unbelievable amounts of money too and we're still not fixed we're basically it feels like still at square one but like i just went yesterday we got a whole new round of medicine i bought like a 50 dollar bag of dog food that we're gonna put her on this special it's not it is special it's uh not it's i can't remember what he's i want to say he said it was hypoallergenic but it's for dogs that have skin issues but it's not a food allergy diet, if that makes any sense. I think that's the way I understood it. So yeah, we're gonna try that. If it's not that, uh, I, I don't know what we're gonna do because she can't, you know, bless her heart, she can't, she's not sleeping. And that's probably part of what was wrong with me. I haven't been sleeping, you know, when you, I'm too old to be getting up like with a baby. And it was worse than a baby. It was all night long, like not, it is it was pretty constant but i could sleep through some of it but um it she itches all night long and because they sleep right here you know on me you know it was she she kept me up with it so maybe that was part of it that i wasn't getting any sleep and and like the medicines that we we've tried side point shots we've tried um um yeast medicine i dipped her with some sulfur stuff i mean uh wipes and sprays and you name it and I've tried it and but right at the moment she's on steroids which has knocked it completely out and we've slept like, and that's probably what it was when they put her on this medicine that first night she knocked out and so did I I slept so hard y'all I felt drunk as hell the next morning when I got up I was like staggering around I was like damn that's what you know a straight stretch of sleep feels like that's now that I hadn't thought about it but that's probably why I'm feeling so much better I mean, I don't know, because this this has been going on, though, since about January. So, from January until now, it well, until about a month ago, it because I, I had tried all I knew up until about about two months ago, I guess it was. Yeah, because we didn't start the, we started the steroid. She's in her third week. Yeah, so that's about it. That's, she's, she did, like, one week of two, one week of one, and then it went, he was going to switch it to every other day. It, she was it, it, like we were back at square one like I, we skipped twice and i was like listen i can't do this we can't do this she's scratching right now but anyway on the steroids it's, it's been great but we can't keep her on steroids we've got to figure out and, and all we can figure out at this point is that it's got to be chicken i let her have chicken and i, I think she's allergic so we're gonna do this food it's gonna be hard y'all i can't do it and that's one of the reasons i was gonna tell y'all to put her on this food and not let her have any treats, I'm going to have to put myself on a diet, which I need to do anyway. Um, I have officially, I weighed like last week or something. I have officially gained 50 pounds back of the 100 that I lost. Excuse me. So, I need to be on a diet myself. So, I'm going to put, you know, me, we're just going to all be on a diet. I can't, we, we all have to do it or, or I can't, well, I mean, I could, but... Anyway, we're going to all be on a diet. We're going to do the Mediterranean. I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do a little bit more lower carb than just Mediterranean. But, um, and see if that helps. Um, if, if that doesn't help, he has said that he's probably going to send us to Dallas to a specialist. And I'm like, oh, that just sounds crazy. 
I'm taking the dog to a specialist. I mean, I'm not at the moment, but uh, if it comes to that, that's what I'll do to fix her because she's got to get fixed. She cannot, she can't live like this. You know, like I, I was pretty much having to keep a shirt on her 24 seven to keep her from scratching herself bloody. And he, he at first thought it was her coming from Arkansas to Texas and the pollen and stuff being different. But I don't really think, you know, we're, we're, I mean, it's not that far from here, you know, so and we've got all the same kind of trees and stuff in both places, so I really didn't think that was it, but I also don't think food was it because it didn't start until a year into us having her, so if she was going to be allergic to what I feed her, wouldn't that have happened before now, but I'm just rambling, y'all. I don't mean to. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to really try hard to get myself back on a schedule and make videos. Um, I'm not making any promises because, you know, I disappeared for what, a, a year? I don't know how long it's been, it's been quite a while. But yeah, that's what's been going on with us. Um, I have missed y'all very much and I've seen comments, I haven't seen them all because there were days and weeks that I didn't open any of this. So um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna say I'm back, cause who knows? I mean, you know, I'm gonna try to be back and I feel like being back, I feel really, really good. It's a little bit scary how good I feel. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm here, guys. I'm here in the moment. Uh, I'm going to try to stay here and make some fun videos with Clay. Um, there's a few things that, like food-wise, that I love trying stuff with Clay because he's so open to trying new stuff. But, um, there's a few things. Have y'all seen those, um, uh, uh, it's like a little tiny crab, but it's, it's all dried out. Like you crunch it, you like eat the whole thing. I want to try those with him. Uh, I can't remember what the other thing was. I was really wanting to try with him. Oh, we were wanting to find those mango. I don't know if y'all have seen him. It's like gummies, but, but like you peel the gummy and you can eat it all. But like you peel it like a piece of fruit. And they've got them in like orange and banana and stuff like that. So y'all want to try those. But yeah, y'all. Catch me up on what you're doing. Uh, I'm glad to be here. I'm, I apologize for having disappeared. Um, yeah, it got kind of yucky around here for me because it. I mean, I, I can't explain it. It. it I was in a dark. You know, and I don't want to say dark. I didn't feel bad. I just didn't want to participate in life. Basically, that was what it was. I didn't want to participate. So I'm participating now, and I feel good. So yeah. I'm back. I, well, I'm not going to say I'm back. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you're up to. I've missed y'all. I love y'all. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.